क्लास सेवन इंग्लिश साइलेंट लेटर्स दिस इज एन एक्टिविटी रिलेटेड टू द सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ द टेक्सट बुक इंग्लिश रीडर अ गिफ्ट ऑफ चैपल्स गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग अबाउट साइलेंट लेटर्स इन अ वर्ल्ड this is something which is quite familiar with you now uh, look at these sentences uh, look at these words no rap answer tum climb debt do you know which letters are silent in no which letters are silent in no k is silent in a rap w is silent in answer in answer w is silent r is also silent in tum b is silent in climb b is silent in debt b is silent so these are the silent letters but uh, why are we learning silent letters what is the purpose of learning silent letters that comes in a word the objective of learning silent letters is to enable you people is to enable young students to speak english with a clear and correct pronunciation you will be able to pronounce the words for a better pronunciation so this is the objective of doing silent letters now children silent letters is very much closely related to silent sounds so we have to familiarize ourselves with the sound system which will be taken up in the class after some time but as of now let me tell you that a word is made of different sounds for example if you say sound in the word sound there is a s sound coming a sound coming u sound coming n sound coming so there are, it is made up of so many sounds a word is made up of so many sounds and today let us take up the sh sound to find out the positions where they come so a sound any sound may come in the initial position of a word in the middle that is medial or in the end for example the the sh sound the sh sound is coming in the initial position in the word sugar sh sugar it is coming in the middle in bushes bushes it is coming in the end in clash so the sh sound is coming sometimes in the initial position sometimes in the middle and sometimes in the end so a sound has got three positions in a word the beginning in the middle and in the end now the silent sounds that we are going to do today the silent sounds can come in anywhere in any part of the word now let us see words in which the initial letters are silent words in which the initial that means the beginning 
Letters are silent. Look here. I have a few words here. No, knee, knife, hour, honest, psychology, psychiatrist. So, we have no. In the mid, in the beginning, you have k. K is silent. We don't pronounce it as kano. We pronounce it as no. The pronunciation of k and o w is no. Ni. K is silent in the beginning, initial position. Knife. It is not knife. It is knife. Hour. It is not hour. Honest. Psychology. P is silent, which comes in the beginning. Psychiatrist. P is once again silent. Which is in the beginning. So there are letters whose position is in the beginning of the word and are silent. Next, let's go to the sound that comes in the middle of the word. I have the following words D E B T, debt, pronounced as debt. Burr sound in the middle is silent. The letter B is silent. Next, business. Business. The letter I is silent. Half. Half. The letter L is silent. The sound of which is L. Then there is receipt. Receipt. Now, here, receipt, it is not receipt, it is receipt. P is silent, the sound of which is P. The sound of the letter P is P. Answer, it is not answer, it is answer. So, the W sound in the middle in the middle is silent. Next we have certain words which come in the end of a word, certain words whose last letter is silent. For example, thumb. It is not thumb. It is thumb. The burr sound of the letter B is silent. Climb. Burr sound of the letter B is silent. Limb. Once again, burr is silent. Bomb. It is not bomb. Then we have otum. Otum. M. Otum. N is silent. We have dam. Belle. Depot. So in these words, the silent letters come in the end. Now, the next point is, why at all do we write the silent letters if we are not pronouncing them? We are not pronouncing the silent letters, but we are writing them down. Because they are also important, so as not to create any kind of confusion in the meaning. For example, in the word wine, you don't say wine, you say wine. Because we are not pronouncing the word e, we cannot simply write n, w e w i n, because if you do, the meanings differ. Win and wine. Likewise, you have s i t e sight. Not sight, eh? but we need the E so that it is not confused with S-I-T, sit. Use, U-S-E, use. 
You don't say you say, but we need the e so that it is not confused with us. Cope with cop. Here with her. Rate and rat. So these are the importance of the silent words as a part of the spelling. So children, uh, after this examples that I have given you, I'm going to give you a homework. This is an activity children. Now here you are given this activity as homework. The silent words can come in any part of the word in the beginning, middle or in the end. So please write say three to five words with the silent words for each column. I hope you can do it. It's not very difficult. You can go through your text and find many, plenty of such words. So thank you and goodbye.